you know, the, the idea that we could possibly have facilities on the ground in Europe. And again, not just in France, but maybe in some other countries whereby people knew that they could have a safer passage, as you say, not having to go through the channel, which is, everyone says, a, a really busy thoroughfare. But you actually have British people, British border force people, actually in France or in Italy, just actually processing mm. these applications so that people would know again, yeah, they're not having to do it through underhand means. They're not mm. having to sell all the family possessions in order to pay the smugglers. I do worry, though, that there is quite a lot that we can't do. Yes, we have actually, you know, made, uh, we do have some responsibility to the people who were working for us in Afghanistan. I completely agree with that. But the push factors in very many countries that we have had no historic mm. links to at all, let's say a country like Mali, where mm. it's France that has the, the imperial links there, a lot of people are leaving Mali because it's just so dreadful there. So the idea that they've got to go 21 miles in the channel for them is like, listen, what we're leaving behind is, is so awful that we will take that risk. So we've got to recognise that some of those push factors are completely out of our control. The pull factors, similarly, mm. I'm incredibly proud of the fact that so many people want to come to my amazing country. It's our own fault for being so tolerant, for being so welcoming, for being so generous. generous. And there is that dimension to it. So some really interesting focus groups were held by the Sunday Times today, which came published today in which they talked to constituents in a Red Wall constituency and also in uh, Bexley and Sidcup, where the um, by-election is taking place on, on Thursday. And a lot of those constituents are placing immigration as their number one issue. This is what the polling is suggesting as well. People are no longer worried so much about COVID, about they're not focusing on how well the government is doing about vaccines. They are focused on migration.